Uh, hey, um, obviously, I think this is the fourth time this season that there have been double-digit leads that have been um, that have been blown. And I'm just kind of curious, do you view that as early season, things are being experimented with, hiccups are bound to happen, or are there kind of patterns that you've seen that you don't really like that have been forming? Um, I would say a little bit of both. I would say um, just getting the lead and then not not – continue to, to play the way we've been playing to get the lead. I think um, taking care of the basketball was one because they had 20, 28 points off our 19 turnovers uh, we talked about. But then also just continue to keep playing the same way. Um, don't get comfortable and um, start taking some bad shots, some questionable shots. And then they get out in transition and was able to make some shots as well. You guys, obviously the first three times it happens, you guys push back this year. And you kind of, you talked about the resolve, how you're happy to see that. What was, I guess, what was different tonight beyond just the, the quick shots? Um, I got to watch it. I thought their switch had made us stagnant. I think by moving Draymond to the five and um, be able to switch one through five, I thought it made us stagnant. And um, so we got to be better with that. And um, that's on me. Um, so well, we will be better with that. But we just got to continue to just keep running and playing through the game the way we have been, um, even if they do switch. So um, we just got to get better with that. Thanks, Dad. OK, let's move over to Tomir. Hey, Ty, uh, last game you guys held Steph to one of his worst games of the season, 5 of 17. Um, you talked about what you guys did, you, you know, crowding him, not really giving him much room. What happened today that he was able to just go off for 38? I thought um, we did a good job, you know, in the first half. I think he had, what, he had 14 in the first half. And then, you know, I think the second half he just got loose and, you know, he made a couple of deep ones. But um, I thought he got a lot more free than he did the first game. And um, they ran some different stuff as well to put us in some tough positions. Um, and we knew that would happen, but, you know, I thought overall to start, you know, we did a good job on him of just, you know, being aware of where he's at. And then I think he made two threes in that first quarter and kind of got him going a little bit. I, I know uh, last time I asked you about this, the, the crunch time offense, you said three and a half quarters of, you know, go to the office and let your uh, stars handle the final half quarter. Uh, I guess, is this something you have to live with when, when shots don't go down and you guys get super stagnant like you did today? No, it's just it's got it's about the shots that we take and that we get. And um, you know, I thought against our switching, we could have just posted Kawhi, you know, a lot more. Um, so that's on me. Um, but you know, like you, our our first game against another day, um, just our slip outs, our setting our picks with Steph Curry was good, and we was able to get uh, generate points off that. So we just didn't execute um, the way we did after the first game. Okay, let's move over to uh, Justin Russo. Hey, Coach. Good evening. Uh, what do you feel got the Warriors back into this game late in the third when they went on the run? Was it the turnovers, the stagnation offensively, or just like a collection of everything above? I think it was turnover, turnovers. Um, I didn't think we got stagnant too much until the fourth quarter. Um, but they, they came in with a lot of energy. Their bench came in with some good energy. I thought Baysmore was terrific for them um, coming off the bench and was able to attack the basket, um, getting some deflections, some steals, and um, he kind of generated the energy for those guys off the bench. Let's move over to Thomas. Hey, Coach. Um, you guys, uh, the bench has been struggling lately, and the bench struggled in the second half today, I believe, scoring just five points. Um, is there anything that you can attribute to that, or is that just a matter of guys just not, you know, kind of making shots tonight? Um, I got to watch it. Um, I know we didn't make shots for sure. Um, and then, you know, Marcus, you know, still trying to find his rhythm, you know, coming back one for seven, you know, trying to work him into the rotation. So, um, you know, I got to go back and look at it, but I see, you know, it's, it's a big difference in the plus minus section um, from their bench and our bench. So I just got to, I got to watch it and see what happens. Okay, we have time for a few more. Uh, let's move over to uh, Forbot. Hey coach, just to, you know, bounce off of that last question. Uh, over the last three games, the bench has been scored 146 to 84. Is it a matter of trying to figure out the rotations, uh, staggering, uh, what are you looking at when you're when you're watching them play in terms of trying to figure out how to fix that situation? Well, the first half, um, you know, we just kind of went with the five guys off the bench, and it was good for us in that first half. And then the second half, we kind of staggered PG and Kawhi like we did in the first game. So just trying to look at just the different combinations and seeing what works and um, what's better for us with that second unit. Okay, and the last question is going to come from Miriam. Hey, Ty. Um, despite the loss, Paul had another pretty special game, really was cooking early. 
Um, what and are you? I mean, his where's his confidence at right now? Um, his confidence is great. I think um, we could have did a better job of trying to get him free and open him up for some more shots. But I thought he did a did a great job of just making the right play and the right pass. And um, he is in a great rhythm right now. So um, we got to ride this wave while we can. Thanks, Ty. Yeah. Saw that for you.